prana, this prana body, this energy body, they are intrinsically one. Okay, the body energy and the mental energy, they are intrinsically one. Your body needs uh, food intake uh, because the body as an apparatus, it needs uh, energy support. So that's why we have three meals a day, it's called food energy or body energy, okay? And uh, what has been animated, what is in animation in the body is just this primal energy, you know, in animation. So uh, your body energy and the mental energy, they are in intrinsically one, but by functionality, they are in separation. The body energy is that which uh, supports the uh, animation of your body uh, functions, okay, the sensions. And the mind is always somewhere outgoing in participation to the involuntary uh, manifestation. Okay, this is the stage of the mind, okay? And uh, so in functionality, they are always in separation to one another, but intrinsically, they are one. So if you remember my first lecture, the Lao Tzu's picture, this art is about, is about reverse self-engineering. So how can you reverse engineer yourself? You stop your involuntary mental participation in manifestation, reverse the mental focus. This is called reversal, settle in. And uh, by activation of the fascia, we try to confluent the mind-body energy through the fascia, okay? And then trace yourself back to this uh, mysterious aperture, okay? The Tan Tian or the, the, the Shen Guan, okay? So there's a, try to locate the whereabouts of this tiny aperture in you, that which makes the animation possible. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the reverse, this is a way of reverse self engineer. Okay, so if you can find a way to do this, this is a way to your holiness. Because as I said, if there has to be a God, there's no other God but you. It's up to you to realize it yourselves. Okay, so in prana dynamics, essence, essence, energy, and spirit from the temporal mind to the energy state. It's an empirical science, very precise. Okay, it's very much teachable. This is what I'm trying to do. But the once I can guide you into the energetics, from this energetics to <coughs> your holiness or the 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 spirituality, uh, spiritual explorations, then it's not a science. Okay, it's a very subjective art. <coughs> Everybody will have to find their own way. Okay. So this is uh, pretty much in line with the Buddha's teachings. So for people who don't have the faculty or whose, uh, whose mind is not mature enough to understand what he has to teach, okay? So he gives them the, okay, uh, you do this uh, vipassana or you read this sutras or you do this, uh, you know, they give them a lot of rules. Hopefully, hopefully, well, uh, the time will come for them to begin to understand, you know, beyond the lines, okay? These people are called ordinary people like us, okay? So uh, it's called uh, Loka or Loki, uh -huh. ordinary people, okay? But uh, when they practice, uh, when they begin to mat mature to some extent, and they can walk out of the shadow of the mind, Okay, they begin to feel, to be able to read beyond the lines and start to understand uh, what, the, what the Buddha tried to teach them. Okay, so th these people are called aloki or aloka. That is people who, are f who has no personality. There's no more ego mind, you know, in bondage in them. So they are the aloki, okay, or aloka. People who are ready for the true teachings. Okay, people who are mature enough to be called uh, qualified as spiritual aspirants. Make sense? Okay, so from lo loka to aloka, I think the, this energy work, what I'm trying to share with you is the key. Uh -huh. It's the key. I'm trying to guide you to walk out of the shadow of your mind. If you can take control of the mental, mental energy, so you're not the mind. 
okay? And if you can control your body energy, so you're not the body. Okay, so if I'm not the mind and not the body, who the hell am I? Good question. That's exactly where you start. Yeah. If you remember uh, uh, Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj, you know about him? Okay. His teacher teaches only one thing. Ask yourself, who am I? It is starting from the point of a Loki, someone who walks out of the shed of your mind. As I said, you cannot use your mind to, to transcend the mind. Okay? So what can you do? Surrender, deflate, baptize your mind. Okay? Release it. Until it, there's no more traces of the mind blocking you from your head, no more. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we can start to talk business, the spiritual business. Okay? Make sense?